Rudy. And this is Captain Frugal with him as well. If you've been watching our channel, you know we reviewed Mr. Crypt number one and two. What are we reviewing today, little Frugal? Mr. Crypt on vacation part three. Yeah, issue number three, Mr. Crypt <laughs> on vacation. Welcome to the jungle. Now, you guys, you and your sister loved the first two issues, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Did you like this issue? Yeah! Now, this is number three in a three-issue limited series. And it starts off just uh, at the Mr. Crip's home, right? Mm -hmm. And he's got his buddy Baron Rat. And he gets a letter. And it's from the mayor saying he gets a vacation, right? He deserves a vacation. So the mayor sends him on a vacation. So he has to figure out what to wear, and he gets his clothes. And that was pretty funny. You enjoyed watching him try yeah. different outfits, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, it was funny. It was? Really funny, yeah. And so he goes on the ship, and he's the only one on the ship but, but for the captain, right? Mm -hmm. Him, the captain, that's it. And so he meets the captain, right? And he says, uh, and here we are here. His cap the captain's name was Bartholomew Candlewax. <laughs> oh, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. And he said that they uh, he's never really been to this island before. It's the first time. And he's like, what? And the reason why is he's going to go on a hunt, right? He gave him the ticket. It's a dangerous island. The part might be my fault. He said the mayor didn't know it was dangerous because, well, I lied. And we, we shouldn't lie because that usually ends up in trouble, right? Mm -hmm. And he's looking for a priceless golden skeleton. So anyway, they go to this island. We don't want to give it all away, right? Because some fun stuff happens. And they go... To on their way to this island. A lot of hilarity in this one. And we get flashbacks to what Baron Rat's doing while while they're gone. Because <laughs> Mr. Crip worries about Baron Rat. But we don't want to get into that. We don't want to ruin the story. But there's some fun stuff that happens, right? Mm -hmm. While they're gone. And the artwork in this is all good, too. Great. Into the really fun story. And I don't want to give it all the way to how it ends, okay? It's a fun story. The artwork was good. Number three, I think, was just as good as the first two issues, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely wonderful. You know what, though, little frugal? Look, look. I'd say on a scale of uh, my grading, normal grading scale, I'd give this for kids and adults to read together in A. It's a fun read for both. Matter of fact, tell us something, little frugal. You enjoyed it so much, issue number three. What did you do? I laughed, and I'm wearing my pajamas. You're wearing, yeah, I know you're wearing your pajamas, and you laughed. But since you liked number three so much, and there, it's only a three-issue series, what did you do? I made uh, issue four. You actually made your own issue four. That's right. Little Frugal made uh, issue number four. Right after it, he enjoyed it so much, he sat down, grabbed some paper, pencil, and he made it. And what was the title of issue four? Mr. Crips and the Swimming Contest. And the Swimming Contest. Yeah, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy those. I'm going to make a, make copies of that. And I think we're going to put it in with the Frugal Force Prizes. Yeah. yeah. So the next person that gets a Frugal Force Prize is probably also going to get the eight page. Didn't you say it was eight pages? Yeah, but uh, I accidentally forgot to do that eight page. Oh, okay. Well, we'll make sure we take care of that. And I think we're going to make a little Frugal... <laughs> Issue number four. I don't think Alterna's going to mind because we're just giving it away for free that you made it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Alterna Comics isn't going to mind. Uh, and anything, anything, I think you should definitely check it out. Let's see the people that did this book right here. You got their information there for their names. Okay. Troy uh, Vivasis and Alexander Jovic. Absolutely wonderful. For a dollar fifty. You really can't go wrong. These are a great read for you and your kids. I mean, look at the pictures in here. It's very well done. And you get some other good advertisements, too, for some other interesting stuff. There's, There it is. Look at that. I just, I don't see how you could miss out on, get, on getting these. It's a great series. So, once again, this is a three-issue set. If you think about it, they're $1.50 each. So, for four fifty, you can get all three of them and get the Mr. Crypt set. And here's a little thing, too, about this. I'm, I'm hoping, and I don't know about you, with the exception of little frugal here is he said he made issue four it does say here at the very end the end for now so hopefully hopefully they'll make more mr crypt too right yeah all right well we hope you enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to hit like subscribe hit that notifications bell leave comments tell us would you like to get this did we influence you to make you want to pick this up do you have this what do you think about it if you do leave those comments because i guess evidently that helps 
with the YouTube algorithm and gets these videos seen more so more people can see some of these great alternative comics that we're going to be reviewing. And we want to make sure they get known and it helps the channel too. Also, matter of fact, if you want to help us out, you can go to the info bar down below where we have a Patreon account yeah. where you can help by as little as a dollar a month and you'll get exclusive Patreon only videos. You'll um, also be put in for the Frugal Forest gifts. Now, you'd always hear about them because some people don't want it to be heard that they want these gifts, so we just keep them silent. You'll have the choice to say that or not. Uh, I always contact the person first, and if you want it to be known, we'll let it be known. If not, we'll keep your identity secret, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then you can get a Frugal Forest gift, which who knows what it is. It's sometimes a signed comic book. It's sometimes just random comic books, pictures, maybe a Fru Captain Frugal, Frugal Force t-shirt. You never know what you're going to get. All right. Also, if you want to help out too and you want some merchandise, you can go to captainfrugal.redbubble.com and you can get t-shirts, coffee cups, uh, clocks, pillows, anything you want. And it helps support Frugal Force. I think it has a 10% markup, so we're not marking up everything a whole lot. So the prices are mainly covering the materials, but the extra money helps cover the channel, which helps us get more materials like to review, more comic books to review, hardware. Right now I'm saving up for another computer, and that computer, my goal is it'll be able to run Streamlabs OBS better because my current one can't do it very well. I can't have other people join. And I want to be able to interview a lot more independent artists and really show their work and do it in a more professional manner. And I think that's the way to do it. All right, until next time. Keep it frugal.